If you are a Salesforce developer appearing for the Salesforce interview, this questions can be really helpful to you. Let's move to the first question is that while changing the field type from text to pick list, what consideration must be taken care of? Now, if you see, if I have a text field, let's say Salesforce in five minutes, I have this text fields value as Salesforce in five minutes. Now, if I'm going to convert it to a pick list, right? What's going to happen is that it will lead to loss of data, right? There can be a possibility that I can convert one value as Salesforce, another value is in, next value is five minutes. So it might lead to loss of data. But what could be the consequences of converting a text to a pick list? One of the consequences would be for sure is that if you have written any kind of automation, okay, it will get affected. Okay, let's say I have a field named as test underscore underscore C, okay, which was a text field. I'm converting it to a pick list. Now, if I'm going to convert it to the pick list, first of all, the automation is going to hamper. So if there is any kind of automation on this field, it will get hampered. Next, and one of the most important thing that interviewers will look into it is if you can answer this or not, is that any list view, okay, any list view, if you are going to create a list view, including this field, right, if you're going to create any kind of a list view with uh, including this field inside the filter, if you're going to do this, that list view will get deleted, okay, this is very important, okay, and you should know about it that everybody knows that automation will be hampered but the most important thing to include is that if you have any kind of a list view that is including this field that complete list view will get deleted okay so let's move on to the next question is that how to pass the data from vf page to lwc components now one of the way is to nothing but i'll just tell you the pseudo code is that first of all what you need to do is you need to create the component Okay, as soon as you create the component, then you have to make the call and all that stuff. So for an example, let's say I have, a, 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 let's say I have a LWC component, let's say LWC1. Okay, LWC1 is my LWC component. Okay, and it has an at the rate API data. Okay, this is one of the parameters that it has. Okay, now if I want to pass the data from the VF page to LWC, so what I can do inside the uh, script that is nothing but the JavaScript of the LWC is that I can create the component that is lightning dot create component. Okay. And then what I can do is I can call whatever the name of my component is that is C colon uh, LWC one. <clears throat> right. Now, once I've done that, okay, next thing what I'm going to do is that I'm going to pass the parameter that it has. Now the parameter that it has is a data, right? Right now, I want to pass the data inside it. To do that, what you can do is data colon. Now, let's say in data, whatever you have to pass, you can pass it like for an example, uh, name or whatever it is. For an example, let's say test. I want to pass inside the data. Okay, I can pass it and then I can create this kind of lightning web component. And if LWC component is created, this is how we can pass the data inside the parameter itself. The another way to do this is nothing but using the lightning container. So let's say I have one more LWC component with the variable at the rate with the at the rate API data. Okay. I can use lightning container in VF page. Okay. And inside data, I can pass whatever I want. Okay. What I can create a variable at the backend and I can pass the value inside from the variable to this, uh, to this LWC component, but this lightning container, I'm going to create it inside the VF page itself and I can pass the data. For an example, I want to pass test. I can directly pass the data test to this uh, LWC component using the lightning container. So one of the ways lightning container, another way is nothing but you can create your own LWC component, like the, you can create an LWC component in the VF page and you can call it and pass the data. Let's move on to the next one that can we create a field on the task object? So let's see if we most probably might think that you are, you are able to create it, but let's see, can we actually create it? So right now I'm task object. If you see, there is no new button at all. So in simple terms, I cannot create a task object or uh, sorry, I cannot create a field on the task object on my own. But what if I want to do it? What if I want to have some certain kind of field on the on the task object itself? In order to fix this issue is nothing but you have to go to the activity object. So instead of task object, go to the activity object. Okay. 
this is the activity object if you create a field on this automatically it gets added to the task itself so if you want to any create any kind of a custom object or custom fields on the task you can create it from the activity itself but on task object you cannot create if you go to the object from object manager if you go to task you won't be able to but from activity you can create and field for the task object so this was all about the interview questions that i have discussed in the previous shot if you found this video helpful i request you to please like this video and subscribe to my channel.